I got my operation day. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. T minus two weeks. Day two of isolation. Hello, cheeky -dees. It is day three of isolation. It's my last day of isolation. Okay, Hans. I just got home. And look at this. What's waiting for me? Oh my gosh. So we're gonna open it up together. How cute. <laughs> so cute. Thank you so much, Em. Thank you, Will. Um, yeah, look at my little card. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I have to be at the hospital in less than eight hours. Oh my god. Good morning. It's Really nervous, poor so really excited. Okay. Okay, emotional. Turning now. It's not sound like we were driving. He's supposed to drive because it's that cold. We're at the hospital now. <laughs> <laughs> so shaky. I'll defeat it that way. Oh. <laughs> She's not listening to me, is she? Hello, look at this. They just come and draw on my leg. A lot of questions, and I think I've done my signature maybe about 10 times today. I wish I had a nice signature or practiced it because it's so bad. <clears throat> um, he just taught me through the operation, and I didn't know that I was having, I'm having three procedures. I thought it was one. I'm having three. <sighs> Got my wristband on. I'm nervous, like so nervous and I feel like I'm gonna be sick. I'm hungry as well. I'm not eating since eight half eight yesterday and it's now eight o'clock. I'm hungry guys. It's a lock. <laughs> oh I'm ready got my gown on and the person who's in before me has just gone down oh my god I'm so I don't know why I'm smiling because I've literally, I feel sick it's open at the back so everyone can see my butt <laughs> mm.
have so much pain. Oh, oh, oh. So they're gonna try it and maybe wait out. But I can't put any weight on my leg. So I've got to, so what I'm gonna do, they're gonna try and make me wait. They didn't order sound on my tummy. Basically, it's the same bladder. So that is a lot in there, but I don't feel like I need a weight. So it's gonna be me to try to try and wait. But I'm not going to. Hi, friends. Um, the worst thing is my bubble's broke. Hi, I have now moved rooms. I am in my bedroom for tonight. I'll give you a cheeky little tour because I know you're also desperate to see my hospital room. Um, I'm waiting for some dinner, I think, because I'm not really eating yet, so I think they have to feed me. But I've just had um, my it's that one that I thought was attached to. I just had some, they just pushed painkillers. But honestly, it's not even touching the sides. Like, I am in, I feel like excruciating pain. I'm like, look the size of my pupils from the drugs. <laughs> Pardon me. Sorry, sorry. But I managed to wait. I'm really going off on a tangent here. Um, you would have probably seen a clip of me saying that they wanted me to wait because I don't read for like over 12 hours so i had a big old way like a lot of it um but i'm on a new ward now just so i can say it is quite like not late but it's like it's 10 past eight so i'm just gonna watch some netflix and try and sleep and then i see this in the morning i'm still waiting to see the surgeon the surgeon should be coming down any minute so like Tell me how it went. Um, so yeah, if it's in the morning then I can get discharged and come home. But I've seen the bag of medications. There's a fat bag of medications. That is, oh my god. Just getting so tired. I got chocolate cake and hot chocolate, some water, and then all part of medication. So I have that medication, that little part of medication if I was I've had my cake and chocolate to get my blood sugars up. Um, also just been given morphine again, like my second morphine and it was liquid and it's got a tea mouth. So I just had, just had. Today, I feel really sick. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Really hurt. <sighs> it hurts so much. I just want to But 
Um, what else? Um, I'm in so much pain, but I feel hot and sick. I'm just gonna go because I feel, I feel, I was about to just catch my feet next time. Morning, it's now six in the morning. I woke up a few times in the night. Right now, I need a wee, so I'm just gonna buzz on to help me go for a wee on a bedpan, which is ideal, but I can't move, so it's gonna be done. Not my pupils big yet. Yeah, I'm not dilated. <laughs> Peace and power. It's now. Let me just come around with some breakfast. So yeah. Got some wheat mix with sugar on. Toast and an orange juice. Yeah, breakfast day. I'm glad. I've just been given some tablets. Well, that was an absolute shambles. Yeah, we got up. We did. I was determined to stand up and do some steps on my crutches. I was determined to do it because if I don't do it, they won't send me home. So I did it. I did a couple of steps in one direction, a steps in it, and just did like just over here. I did like a little circle, and then I, I was like, I, I took it back in bed, sat in bed, and I just threw it up. <laughs> I just vomited. I can't believe I'm putting this on the internet. I actually feel and look horrendous. Um I just vomited and just felt so sick which is why now I've got the nausea medication. But even now I can feel like my eyes just just need to sleep I guess. I don't I just feel like whoa. Um um I just want, I want to be at home, I want to be with my mum. so shit. Like, obviously I'm buzzing, like, the operation went amazing, it was the best thing I've gone. It's just... I feel like such a child and such a wimp that, like, when everyone left, I just started crying. And this woman came in because she had to, like, check all my um, details so I could have this nausea medication. It's just like, oh no, are you okay? I was like, I just I feel like I'm letting myself down by, I don't know, like, obviously I can't help the pain that I'm feeling. But my stupid head makes, it's just telling me that I'm pathetic and I'm stupid for crying or getting upset or feeling this pain. But like, this one was like, you need to look at like, you've not just had one surgery procedure you've had three and one of them they did just prepare one tear in your meniscus because there was four tears and they had to prepare like you need to look at like give yourself like some credit for like what you've been through and I just I just like I just feel stupid for like not be able to stand up and just passing out like just feel stupid this is so unflattering I don't care. Update. He made it into a chair. My mouth is dry as frick and sore. I don't know if I told you this, but I had a fat tube in my mouth, into my lungs. But we have some sad news. I'm staying over another night, which is a little bit sad because I just want to see my mum. I'm going to have my painkillers and then get a nurse to help me back in bed. Oh, do I see my leg? Here we go, I've got no um, panties on, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is my splint. I feel vile, disgusting. 
disgusting. Like my tummy is an absolute bit. My knee is in agony, like this pain. I'm gonna have to ask the nurses for something stronger because what I'm having just isn't touching the sides. Like I can feel everything. My tummy's doing backflips. <sighs> Morning, happy Saturday. Ooh, I've just got some oh, wait a bit scan that should have a spoonful I feel sick so I might not eat them this morning which is cute and gucci but this is my surgeon's assistant did come and look at my knee and look at the wounds and he said he's very happy with them none of them are leaking they're all warm and there doesn't seem to be any signs of infection so that is good and great but i'm gonna have to just go i feel like i'm being sick again so i see in a bit hi guys just binging Grey's anatomy um, just a quick update, I feel like I'm going to be going home tomorrow, I'm not on a pain trip tonight, although I really wish I was, I'm in so much pain but I've just had some auras more, so hopefully help and get a good night's sleep before I can go home to my mom. Okay. Uh, we've got a bit of bleeding going on and lots of bruising and swelling on my knee but um, hopefully in the morning. I'm just going to pray that I get to go home. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. I'm literally in so much pain. I just want to be home. In my own bed. So. I've just seen my physio and we're gonna try and get up walking and try and do the stairs so I can go home. I'm gonna cry. If I can go home today, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, I'm vlogging on my phone because my camera has died. But um, I think you can tell like I look so much healthier and just better. Um, but yeah, I've got physio. He's just gonna get another staff member to help. We're gonna do some walking and we're gonna get up the stairs. I might be able to go home. I hope they're gonna put some pants on me because I don't want to be walking upstairs with my coochie hanging out. Um, yeah, I get to see my mom today. Guys, I've just had the news I'm getting discharged today. I ain't coming home. They have my greasy, gross body and hair are coming home today. Oh, my mom's ringing me. This is the going home fit. I'm all packed up. Oh, my mum's here. I'm just waiting for someone to get me a wheelchair. I've got my brace and my crutches. I'm going, I'm going home. I'm in the car with my mum. <laughs> and my greasy hair. <laughs> Look. Oh. It's super cute. 